Welcome to 540 Maintenance, a web series brought to you by Datadis, where we'll discuss the industry with different guests, partners, associations, and industry experts. Why 540 Maintenance? Because at Datadis, we exceed expectations. For us, 360 degrees is not enough. We take your maintenance to 540 degrees. Follow us for a different web series where we talk about serious subjects without taking ourselves too seriously. Welcome everyone to the first episode of the 540 Maintenance. Uh, we're super excited to be here. I'm Marjolaine, Marketing Coordinator at Datadis, and uh, I'm working at our head office in Quebec City. And I am Catherine. I'm the Strategic Partnership Manager at Datadis. I am located at the Toronto office. So like Marjolaine said, we're really excited to be here. And for this first episode, we will be discussing with our telematic partner, Isaac. And to represent them here is Sam O'Neill. So Sam, I'll let you introduce yourself. Good morning. Thanks for having me this morning with you guys. My name is Sam. Uh, I'm the business development manager for Eastern Canada based out of Montreal. Super excited uh, to be part of this uh, recording that we're doing. And uh, that's it. <laughs> Super excited to be with you also. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, Sam, how long have you been working uh, at Isaac? There? So I'm in my 15th year. Um, and I saw like the growth of the company really. Uh, when I started 15 years ago, I was, I think, the ninth employee. Uh, and we're <laughs> closer to uh, the 200 mark. So it's pretty exciting. Um, lots of uh, new hiring lately. Uh, really good people. Uh, really like the vibe uh, working with Isaac. Uh, good stuff. Uh, um, brand recognition throughout Canada. And uh, yeah. fully, uh getting uh, recognized in the US as well. So uh it's uh, definitely a, a fun time for us and uh, being a part of the team is uh, super exciting. That's, yeah. that's great. Mm -hmm. uh, and before working at Isaac, uh, what were you doing? Have you always been in the industry or? Not really. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm, I'm an electronic technician. So um, I, I work with different companies before Isaac. Uh, not trucking related at all. Uh, mm -hmm. And when I started at Isaac, I was uh, I was doing the assembly of the recorder that we are still selling today. So oh. I would I would work on that with calibration uh, stuff like that, quality control. And with the growth of the company, I I assumed different roles. Um, mm -hmm. Used to be in um, the service team for a while. I did some training. I eventually joined the sales team as a as the technical expert of our solutions. I would be going mm -hmm. uh, in support of the sales team. And like I said earlier, uh, for the last two years, a little bit more than two years now, I've been the business development manager uh, in Canada, one of the business development managers. Uh, awesome. Super, uh, really nice because uh, I had the opportunity to uh, to grow the rest of the company. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I feel like that makes the best employees. We try different uh, roles in the company and then that makes you mm -hmm. have like all the knowledge that you need to have to really excel in the position that you have now. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I learned a lot of stuff about trucking, the industry, the language, the, you know, everything that relates to integrations, uh, compliance, uh, what people are looking uh, from an uh, operational uh, perspective. So mm -hmm. uh, it, it made sense for me, I guess, for the organization as well, uh, you know, for me to uh, occupy this new role. Yeah. So you said it a little bit, but um, can you tell, it, tell us a little bit more what Isaac does? For those uh, who don't know uh, the company. Yeah, so uh, what we do is we offer, uh, we're a fleet management system, right? So the first thing that people will think is ELDs, right? Logbooks. Mm -hmm. uh, we offer an ELD solution. Uh, 
but we do much more than that. So as far as ELDs are concerned, uh, there is a new regulation that will uh, come into full force on uh, January 1st of next year. Uh, so that um, every vendor is like Isaac who wants to be able to offer um, an ELD solution must go through an independent certification. So we did that. Uh, our solution has been certified last fall. Um, so many other features that we offer, uh, some of them are unique to Isaac, such as the uh, real-time driver coaching. So um, we have what we call the Isaac coach. So we have real-time indicators on the tablet. And the idea is that we look at what's happening in the truck and we know that the driver does not control everything, right? So mm -hmm. does not choose his route, does not choose the load, you know, is he carrying a very heavy load or, 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 or not? Um, and, you know, there's the weather, the aerodynamics of the equipment. Mm -hmm. So we try to isolate everything that the driver does not control um, so that he's not... Uh, scored on those external elements and we focus on what the driver controls inside the truck and whenever the driver does something that will impact safety or fuel economy we will mm -hmm. have an indicator to help the driver uh, improve on those aspects so it's really unique in the sense that you need a lot of data what we call uh, big data to be able to provide real-time feedback on the device as things are happening inside the truck. So for example, when the driver accelerate, uh, we look at different parameters and based on, again, on the route, the load, uh, we'll, uh, we'll provide the real-time feedback for the driver. Same thing when uh, he anticipates or when he decelerate with the truck, when he, when he does, uh, uh, a left right turn or when he applies the brake. So we look at, at several parameters and the idea is that at the end of the week, the driver is getting a score over a hundred. And based on that score with clients that we have that want to use this to put in place an incentive program, we have the ability to, uh, to be fair to all drivers because mm -hmm. of what they do as long as they achieve a good score, they can make uh, that incentive. That's really cool. I didn't know yeah. about that. Yeah, another thing that we have um, is um, the fully integrated dash cam. So safety, obviously, when you operate a fleet uh, trucking company, uh, safety is really important. So mm -hmm. to have a fully integrated dash cam allows us to trigger uh, critical events when there's a hard maneuver or if we uh, if we get something from uh, an ADAS system such as uh, collision avoidance or or a lane departure or stuff like that so we can trigger uh, clips that can be reviewed on our web portal uh, and uh, the idea is to to really uh, help the driver uh, to show better anticipation uh, mm -hmm. And it's, it's super important, especially for fleets that are going to the US, uh, just because in the US, if something happens, something bad happens, there's always that possibility mm -hmm. that uh, you could uh, theoretically uh, be sued. So uh, sometimes mm -hmm. clip will, uh, will just uh, avoid a situation where, um, where you, you can uh, find yourself being in So for those who don't know, uh, Datadisk and Isaac have been partners for a very, very long time. We've had an integration for a long time. Um, very close partners. Sam, can you tell me a little bit more about our partnership? Yeah, well, we, we have similar uh, backgrounds. And I, I do remember the first time I saw you guys was, I don't know, I'd say maybe 12, 13 years ago, we used to do uh, small shows and we would meet and, you know, you guys would ask about what we do and we would do the same. And then we realized that uh, there was a, a potential, very interesting s synergy between mm -hmm. our teams because we don't do anything of what you, you guys are doing. And, and the opposite is also true. So, um, we, uh, we started a while ago, uh, we had the um, 
common clients. Uh, and for example, you have the ability to trigger uh, an alert whenever uh, there's a maintenance required for an equipment. And we have the, to help you with that because we record the odometers and the engine hours. So it's fairly easy for us to pass along uh, this data. Uh, it, it, it eventually um, uh, transition into something uh, even better. Uh, so we now have an API and we manage uh, uh, circle check or DVIRs. And so through the evolution of uh, our, our integration, uh, we saw uh, now the ability to, for a driver uh, to declare a defect and to send notice into Mira saying, there's this defective uh, element. Uh, uh, the driver can enter a description of what's wrong, can take a picture, and we send this over to you guys so that whenever the mechanic is ready, uh, to open his work order, well, he knows exactly everything that uh, that he needs to be aware of uh, to uh, to start working on the, the repair for the, the equipment. And then on the other side, once he completes uh, the work order details in Mir, it sends back the information on the Isaac device, so the driver can look at this information and can sign electronically. So what we do here is we. Uh, we replace the piece of paper inside the truck mm -hmm. so, and we keep a trace of everything that uh, that we've been doing in terms of uh, maintenance. So that's definitely. Yeah, it's impressive. There, there's um, a lot of people that still use paper and a lot of people that don't keep any trace of the work that was done or anything like that. And that can become very problematic. I'm sure I'm not it's not news to anybody, but um, it can become very problematic. So having this integration, everything is automated. Um, like you said, it's not anymore like a report that you have to whatever. It's automated going to our system. Um, the mechanic can see it, work on it, sends back to Isaac. So it's really a full, uh, full circle, full workflow. Um, mm -hmm. So it's definitely a big feature of our integration, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I think it makes also the, um, the information travel faster. So everyone can do their job faster also, and the, the truck can be um, faster on the road and the mechanics. Absolutely. Yeah, it's all I mean, in real yeah. time, right? So that's really the, the key here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would also say that it facilitates the life of the driver just because the fact that it's fully integrated, the driver does not need to uh, go from one app to another app. It's yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoever does the DVIR, uh, it's not it's not a, an application uh, or another app on the side that he needs to launch, and it it really um, eases thing a lot for the driver. Uh, mm. Yeah, funny Absolutely. funny you said that because um, I was talking with my boyfriend about Isaac, and he used to be a truck truck driver. And the first thing he said to me uh, about Isaac, it's so user friendly. He loves it, like really easy to use and it's fast and everything is at the same place. So I'm sure you have a lot of comments like that from driver, but uh, it's we true. Need, you know, we need to keep in mind that uh, your average driver in Canada is 55, 56 years old. So mm -hmm. they're, they're not, you know, savvy and when we're we ask them to use a tablet the first thing that we have in mind and and you know it's always been like this at isaac and when we develop new features the first thing that we ask ourselves is how do we keep this super simple so mm -hmm. we can avoid navigation screen taps to limit this at a minimum is what we're uh, we're aiming for so so like you said the end goal is that ideally you would mm -hmm. tell the driver, go to the truck, lug yourself in and follow the instructions. And so I don't have to give you any training and you'll figure it out by yourself. This yeah. is what I'm trying to do. It's so intuitive, so easy to use that you don't necessarily need to be mm -hmm. trained to be able to use the solution. In fact, you know, we were talking about DBIRs earlier. So, you know, when you look at the schedule one, you have different elements, some of them are major. So 
these are not an issue in a sense that, you know, if a, a driver tells us that we have a major on the equipment, he, can't, he cannot leave with the equipment, right? Something must be done right away. But what if it's a minor element? The driver is allowed to leave the yard with the equipment. So let's say the driver books a trailer, does the, uh, the pre-trip inspection. There's something wrong with it, but it's a minor element. So he leaves the yard. The mechanic received the notice that something's wrong with the equipment, but we don't want a mechanic to go outside and, and look for that equipment in the yard. So the nice thing is we have the ability to, uh, to tell the mechanic whether equipment is in the yard or not so that's a feature from your uh mm. software uh where we can tell when the equipment is available inside the yard so that the mechanic uh you know can uh, can uh, look for it when uh, when the time comes mm -hmm. a lot of times people will have someone just go out in the yard and be like okay this truck is here this truck isn't this one is and with that feature, just right into Mira, you can see, okay, um, this one is in the yard, perfect. So you save a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's actually a great example of the synergy that we have between our two companies because you guys came to us with this and say, look, it would be nice to be able to geofence the yard of our clients and, you know, for you to push the GPS Latin loan so that we, can, we know if the equipment is physically in the yard or not. And mm -hmm. so we already have the data, so it's 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 easy to to figure something that works, and where at the end uh, the clients get the benefits of uh, of uh, these features. Absolutely, and I think we're both very um, similar in that sense that we listen to our clients. So if uh, like we're very very close to our clients, I know it's same for you guys. So they will come to us and say, "Hey, I think." This feature would really help me out. So I'm sure it would help out a lot of your clients as well. And then from that, mm -hmm. we can discuss with partners like you guys and then develop something. So that's, that's, yeah. that's the best way to go about it, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And it's because we're both focused um, towards trucking, right? So it's not yeah. like trying to support like 12 different industries. We... Mm -hmm. we Selected mm -hmm. a market, and we're trying to improve our solution for that specific market. So yes, mm -hmm. you know, we're the same. Like we listen to what our clients are asking, and you know, if there's a benefit for the industry, uh, that's how we prioritize actually what uh, mm -hmm. features are going to look like. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Sam, you uh, told us a little bit about it before, but maybe if you can rephrase it or just in a few words, um, what makes Isaac different from all the other telematic solutions? What are your advantages for um, your users? Well, first of all, uh, we've discussed earlier about trying to keep it simple as, as much as we can for the driver. Uh, so I think you know, in the industry, we see two different approaches. Uh, the Isaac approach is we are a manufacturer, we, we build, we design, we sell, and we support our own solution, which makes it a turnkey solution for the client. So we don't have any technological partners. We're not a distributor. We're selling something. Uh, and we're trying to, again, from, uh, you know, from a management perspective, uh, you want to, you want to, once the solution has been installed in the truck, you, you don't want to manage it, you know, in, mm -hmm. in that we don't want the driver to have the responsibility if he's using his cell phone or if it's a, a commercial product, um, if it's uh, something that you, you can't uh, leave in the truck and the driver is responsible for it, well, it, it comes with a few challenges. So what we're trying to do is to say the tablet belongs to the truck. You forget that it's there. The driver's responsibility is to log on the device and log off once he's done, and that's it. Uh, so there's this. also the fact that what we're selling is an Isaac tablet. The, the other concept that exists on the market is what we call the bring your own device. So it might sound appealing because, again, you can use the driver's cell phone or you can come up with yeah. any mobile equipment that, uh, that, that you want. But 
you know, what happens if you have different uh, mobile uh, equipment to support within a single fleet and who's responsible for this? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it can be the drivers, it can be someone at IT, uh, they can run on different platforms. So you need to think about this in the sense that, you know, if, if uh, the driver is responsible for that, uh, for sure, it's going to require uh, some time for you to support a driver that calls in because it's not working, because he doesn't know how to uh, yeah. connect the device to mm -hmm. the inside the truck. Mm -hmm. So I think this is uh, one, of, uh, one of the things where um, it eases a lot, uh, a lot of stuff for the operation. Uh, the other thing is we have all the flexibility to do whatever we want in terms of functionalities because we have full control from hardware to software or front to hand. Uh, we have the ability, the ability to come up with new features without having hardware uh, limitations. So I think, uh, I think uh, this is quite nice. Uh, we've already discussed about uh, about the fully integrated dash cam, about the real time mm -hmm. coaching. Um, we have a lot of data. I think that uh, another uh, area where uh, you know I was telling you about the real time driver coaching. The reason why we're the only solution to do this on the market that I'm aware of is because of the amount of data that we have in the, in the, a day in the life of the truck. You know, at the end of the day, within a truck, Isaac will record over a million data points. Anything else that you look at on the market is more focused on telematics. You know? So when we have a million data point, what I have in mind is telemetry, you know, and our background is we used to equip race cars. And the idea was to have data for the mechanical engineers to be able to, you know, um, make adjustments on, on, on the car. So it requires big data to do this. So if you have only a few thousand data points at the end of the day, you cannot tell in real time uh, anything to the driver to improve on fuel economy. You'll have the distance travel, you know, the, the average uh, moving distance, uh, the idle time, stuff like that but you don't have something really specific that you can point out to help the driver improve. And, you know, with fuel costs uh, lately, uh, this mm -hmm. is huge. <laughs> if you can help addressing this, uh, there's definitely a, a, a gain for the company uh, mm -hmm. long-term period. Mm -hmm. That's awesome, Sam. Thanks for sharing all of that. Before we leave, Sam, um, is there something you'd like to share with our viewers, like something you'd like to announce, a new product or an event Isaac is going to? Um, yeah. Well, something that we've been uh, really careful about at Isaac is to uh, try to um, be careful about expectations. So we like to talk about what we do today, not necessarily about what we we will do tomorrow or what we could do. Uh, although what I can tell you uh, is uh, right now we're uh, working on the, on the driver app. Uh, so something that a driver can use on his cell phone or, or on a mobile uh, device when he's not inside the truck. And the idea is to have an extension for the driver to access the information that's important to him. So a driver could mm -hmm next uh, load assignment from home from exam for example um, or uh, I don't know it opens the door to many uh, different uh, things and again it's by listening to our clients that we uh, we came up with this so a lot of uh, other features that uh, we're working on uh, we're always improving the solution we want our clients to use uh, the solution as, as its full potential um so yeah that, there's this and in terms of uh, upcoming events uh as you guys uh, we will be at truck world uh from april 21st to april 23 um and yeah. we'll have side by side boots absolutely so yeah we'll be right next to uh, each other 
So um, we will put more information on the screen, but we're, we will be at booth 1278. And I believe you guys are at 1083, right next to each other. Um, so if you guys have any questions or want more information about our integration or both of our companies, feel free to come check us out. It will be a fun time. And uh, Sam, just to uh, finish up here, is there, where can people reach out to you? What, on LinkedIn, on, on uh, what social media? Should they reach Isaac? Should they reach out to you? Yeah, so there's always the Isaac website. Uh, and uh, as far as uh, social media are concerned, uh, we have a LinkedIn account, we're on Twitter, uh, we're uh, also on Facebook. Um, and um, yeah, I guess, I guess this is it. Yeah, I, I think you are very active and you also have really uh, nice articles on your blog. Oh, well, follow the trucking market closely. So um, okay. to stay connected. And you were talking about blogs. We do webinars mm -hmm. also. Uh, and the idea is to come up with topics that we're being asked about, like PLDs, yeah. uh, you know, about the regulation, when it will come into full force, are we certified or not? You know, who's going to have to uh, comply with that regulation and do e-logs and stuff like that. So we, um, we try to, um, to organize webinars or blogs uh, with topics that, uh, that, that people are, they want to know about, or they want to, uh, to be told about. So our website is, uh, isaacinstruments.com. Um, so it's really easy to find and uh, it's a good place to start for someone that wants to have, uh, useful information about us. And you can always, uh, join me, reach out either via LinkedIn or send me an email or call, uh, call us for more information about the solution, about the platform. Uh, and um, I'd be happy to uh, initiate uh, a chat with you or uh, go through a complete uh, presentation abilities of our solution. Um, and we're always happy to, uh, to get new partners on board with us. Mm -hmm. So yeah, thank you guys uh, for watching. Um, thank you, Sam, for sharing all this information. We will also put all um, Isaac's and Sam's information on our website and on our blog post. So yeah, don't hesitate. If you have any question, come see us at Truckwell. And we'll see you soon for a next episode of the 540 Method.